How to have pop. Having a perfect online presence during virtual learning. Hey guys, it's you eggs here. So we're kind of in a weird situation with this whole virtual learning from home thing. I know as a teacher, I didn't sign up to be a teacher from home. I wanted to be a teacher in the classroom with you guys. So we're all kind of in this weird situation together. Many of the teachers were struggling with how to best teach from home and to make this the best experience for you so that you get the most out of it. Well, if we all work together, we can make this the best learning experience we can have while we're doing it. So how do we do that? How do we make a good virtual learning experience for everyone? Hmm. These clips are going to show some really funny things, but these are some things that we seriously saw in the spring when we were all just trying to get to the end of the year. So after they're over, we're going to have a little bit of a discussion on, hmm, should we do those things or should we not? And then we'll talk about what we should do to have the best virtual learning experience for everyone. Mom! 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 This topic is to practice, 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 and practice. Stop. And while we're practicing, I'll. It's not a good nonsense. Be something you wish. Then drop on the deck and drop like a fish. Ready? Because Mom. Or because is used to introduce a cause in a story. This Mom. is probably written inverted from how you might I'm trying to do school. We're going to learn how to multiply a multi digit number by another multi digit number. You remember the. Yeah, I'm here. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to learn. Yep, ready. Ready to do it. Hmm. Now, I know some of those things were really silly. But some of those things actually happened on camera while we were in the spring doing virtual learning. I know many of you had never been in a virtual session before, so we might not have known how to actually act in a virtual setting. I want you to think of it as actually being in the classroom. How do you act with your teacher when she's teaching in your normal classroom? That's how you should act in your virtual lessons. So I call it POP, perfect online presence. So let's talk about how we can have POP while we're doing our virtual learning. Here's how to have pop while in your online synchronous lessons. Please show up on time to your scheduled lessons. Find a quiet place free from distractions like your siblings, your parents, your pets, television and video games. Maybe try to set up some kind of learning station or learning corner somewhere where you live. Just don't make it in the dark. That's just weird. Stay on mute. Please click the raised hand button if you'd like to contribute. Your video needs to remain on to help with focus. Eye contact should be maintained at all times. This will help you with your learning and focus. Refrain from chewing gum, eating or drinking in front of the camera. No one wants to see you just chewing away in the camera. And lastly, don't play around or sleep during the lesson. Try your best to stay focused during your virtual lessons. Look, 
We're all trying to navigate this new world that we're living in, especially with this online digital learning. I know it's not easy, but if you give your best effort while you're online, it will be wonderful. We'll try to make the best of it. So remember, you're smart, you're strong, you can do this. Just make sure that you have pop while you're attending your virtual lessons. Perfect online presence. Your teachers are going to help you through this. Your parents are gonna help you through this. And together, we can all have pop to get the most out of our virtual learning. Bye.